2023 election. Let me first of all start by apologizing to you. I will do a lot of videos. As I see issues, I will talk on them. So please, in advance, no vets. If you see my videos, if they are becoming too much, eh? Don't be angry. But it's just, we just have like eight months to election. And I promise you, after the election, I will take a little bit of break from any video or anything. So hold me to my words. But honestly, uh, in the last few days, I've been seeing, or maybe more than a, a, a day, maybe like in the last week or two, there have been a lot of posts where you see people saying that, oh, now the Igbos want our vote and they are doing this. Oh, oh, now our region, we will do this. Oh, yes, now we will show them and stuff like that. Hello? A vote for Peter Obi is not for a vote for Igbo people. You understand? So this, all of this, eh, yes, now we will show them. And there's some people saying that, oh, by, by February, we will shock them. You're already in shock. Who are you shocking? When you're voting for Peter, but it's not about saying, oh, it's about Igbo people. No, no, this is not about Igbo people or Christian or a male or whatever. It's about competence, character and capacity. And that's all we, we, the focus should be all about. Nothing more, nothing else. And if you think that you're coming out to say that, oh, Igbo people, this Igbo people, that, and you, would add, you want to cut your nose to spite your face, I hope I got that right. Well, <laughs> the joke is on you. Because... I want us all to understand in this Nigeria, if there is any region or any group of people, let me not use region now, if there's any group of people that can withstand whatever hardship Nigeria has to give more than any group, I think it's the evil people. I might be wrong, but that's my opinion. They have a lot going for them. It's one of, it's, it, should I say one of what's the most economically empowered group of people in terms of diversity know that oh the richest man might not be from there the richest man in africa might not be from there and all of that but you, it's, it's the kind of uh, people that you know in terms of economic uh, uh advancement on a whole they have it a lot in terms of the economy of the nation they have it a lot you go to this my village that I'm not able to do anything. I will look at it. I'm like, ah, this day there's nothing to do. There's no business. An evil man is there. He's doing business and he's striving very well. There is no place you will go to in Nigeria. You will not see an evil man doing very well. There's no place. And I, I, I might go ahead to even say no town in the world you will go to. You will not see an evil man doing something. So this this attitude that eh, we will show the evils by not voting Peter B for that. I see some of you giving. Honestly, it's as foolish as foolish can be. Honestly, if that's your reason. Oh, I want to show. The only person you are showing you is yourself. Because like I said earlier, if there's any tribe that is wired to actually survive, no matter what kind of bad governance and suffering that Nigeria can deal with, it's the Igbos. They've, they've seen the hardship of Nigeria. They've seen Nigeria at its worst. There is no tribe up till now that has gone through what the Igbos have gone through in terms of that Biafra war. And guess what? You know, when you go through so much adversity, you learn and you build shockers that we ab absorb any other thing that will be brought in. The rest of us, we don't have such shockers. And I'll tell you, the Ozomena, never again, and the apprenticeship system, is something that they have used a lot to, to help themselves. You and I, which apprentice system we get? If I come out now, go somewhere, say, hey, I'll be a dope, dope, dope brother, you go look me. Oh, I'll be now, you go meet somebody, say, hey, I'll be also a sister, you go look you. Oh, I'll be also a brother, you go look you. Oh, the one that will say, hey, I am Nupia, brother, you go look you. They don't really have that for most of us, but they do. So I don't know where this mentality is coming from, where it's like, oh, I'm going to show the evils and, and this one, oh, we meet, they will see us, we shock them by February, we we'll do all of that. That has no place anywhere. So the earlier you sit down and look at your region that right now is being ravaged, right now it's in soup, right now that people are in poverty, right now that people are suffering, because the suffering is, uh, it's, it's the same everywhere right some people are able to have they have more shock absorber to absorb it than than others so the earlier you focus and vote based on the suffering that you're seeing based on the uh, on the poverty you're seeing in, in, in wherever it is that you are that will help more than this arrogance this sense of entitlement and arrogance that is not going to carry anybody anywhere and i think every one of us we need to understand that this is a fight 2023 election is actually uh 
election for survivor. We are fighting for our lives here. Nigeria is at the worst that it has ever been. And if we make the mistake, it can get worse than this. If we make the mistake of not choosing based on competence, character, and capacity, and whatever you want your choice is, you have a right to your choice. But hey, let it not be something like, oh, I want to spite this petty and not vote. No, let it be whoever you feel is the most competent. I have my own most competent candidate. You can have your own most competent candidate. Let's, be, let's vote based on that era. But if you say that, oh, you're voting to spite. <laughs> hey, um, uh, <laughs> now we go here and pass. <laughs> the people that think you are spite, they will have their way of surviving. As we hear the suffering, they too. It's not as if the suffering is not everywhere, but they have built a shock absorber to be able to survive the suffering that Nigeria can give because they have they have actually seen Nigeria at its most heinous, at its most heinous um, uh, capacity and unleashing everything. I mean, having seen people, they are, you just imagine someone's everything being taken away from the person and they just give you 20 pounds and you have to build up from there. And in have over half a century, they've built themselves back. So they have a resilience that the rest of us don't have. I just want to let you know that uh, when you're thinking of Peter or B, you're not thinking Igbo. This is not about Igbo or Christianity, Christianity or whatever. This is about competence, character and capacity and the courage. And of course, citizens being able to make demands and criticize and hold uh, whoever gets into office accountable. So forget all of that things like, oh, I will show you, I will show them. Poverty has already shown us. Insecurity has already shown us. The terrorists are showing us already. So the thing that we need to do is to come together and choose a person that can really do the job, not the person that we feel that, oh, let's show other person. If you know what I mean, Sha. Well done.